running doesn't lend itself to a lot of novel forms of movement, lateral movement. So, so for you nerds out there, movement in the sagittal plane um, or angled movements. But it does appear that things like dance or sports where you end up generating a lot of dynamic movements, where there's jumping, where there's movement at different angles, where there's ducking, where there's leaping, that basically involve a lot of dynamic movement and aren't just strictly linear, those seem to open the portals for plasticity. And that's because they mimic a lot of the brain circuitry that is associated with play. And the reason for that is the way in which those dynamic movements and movements of different speeds engage the vestibular system, the balance system. The vestibular system is in the inner ear, relates to the cerebellum, which translates to mini brain. You got a little mini brain in the back of your brain. It brings together visual information in a very direct way. I talked a lot about this in the episode on how to learn faster. So if you want to go in depth on how vestibular and different types of motor movements can open plasticity, I talk a little bit more, I should say a lot more there. But Suffice to say that engaging in play that has a lot of dynamic movement or movements of different speeds, things like dance, things like sports, like soccer, where you're moving in different dimensions, that tends to be very conducive to what we would call play-related circuitry. Mm -hmm. 